Scorpio. What's up, Scorpio? It's your girl D here with 8th House Energy here to bring you another reading for October. This is an interesting time of year for Libra and Scorpion energy. Because this is the time where, it, uh, as far as degree-wise in the sky, this is the time where the energies start to merge. So, you know, these are your Libra, Scorpio, Cusper energies. So, happy birthday to uh, <laughs> the early October, early Scorpio, early Scorpio folks, you know. Um, and to the Libras who haven't come yet. But, uh, yeah, Libras whose birthdays are this week. So we got the ten, what is this, the nine of wands, the devil energy. So I'm getting here, Scorpio, that um, you're um, guarding yourself or, you know, um, watching toxic people. You're really taking a look at people who are around you. And if you feel like they are, you know, toxic in any way. You know, you're ending the connection or you're being very guarded and defensive against this person. If you have to deal with them, it's just, okay, I'll deal with them, you know, in a manner that I have to. But after that, I'm not dealing with them. Like, if it's a work situation, it's like, okay, I'll be cordial, you know, because we're doing business. But, you know, that's just going to be it. <laughs> it's like the energy. So, um, that's what I'm feeling here. But, um... I feel like with the Hierophant in the past, the Hierophant in reverse, this was a situation that you were in that was one that you normally wouldn't find yourself in or would want to be in. For some of you, you were dealing with someone who um, was involved with someone else, someone who could have been married to someone else. So some of you could have been in that energy. That's what I'm showing in the past. Um, but I feel like in the more recent past with the Three of Swords reverse, um, this is Libra energy. And this uh, high, this uh, Hierophant in reverse, that's Taurus energy. But I feel like with this Three of Swords in reverse here, this is Saturn and Libra. So you learned some lessons. You know, you had to learn this one the hard way. You know, it was a very strong toxic connection here with the the devil energy and so you're guarded towards it so i don't know if this person is this could be past present future energies this could be you reminiscing about this because you know mercury is in retrograde in your first house so that brings back a lot of memories about you know people's hidden feelings hidden emotions you know so these may be some feelings that you have about this situation a scenario that you haven't shared with anybody so you could be recollecting about this for some of you this could be what you're going through right now some of you, you know, you may not go through this right now. It may happen a month or two down the line or what have you. But um, I feel like you feel taken advantage of, some of you. You feel um, taken advantage of by this person. Some of you, um, I feel like... Some of you may have children by this person. With the... Um, Queen of Pentacles in reverse is the crowning energy. She came out in reverse. She is usually, um, when she's in reverse, she can be looked at as someone's mistress. Um, because we do have the Hierophant here in reverse and the opposite end. So this could talk to someone who was cheating on their wife. This could be the uh, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Could be someone who it, he's been having a long-term affair with. Or she's been having a long-term affair with. Because Pentacles represents stability. Um, but you weren't able to provide, they weren't able to provide you stability as far as a traditional relationship, but the connection went on, long story short, your connection went on for a very long time. Some of you have children by this person, but this person is still not with you. So some of you are, are in this situation right now. And, um, with the eight of wands here, I'm sorry, eight of pentacles. This is what's in your fears. And I'm not sure why that's in your fears. 
maybe you're afraid that you're not going to connect with someone. Maybe you're afraid you're not going to meet someone that you're just going to be working and that's it. Or maybe, you know, you're afraid that that's what you're going to have to do. You just gonna have to focus on money and work because that's what's going on. Or for some of you, what's going on is you're afraid that you're not going to be able to get this off your mind. Some of you are still thinking about this. This is on your mind heavily. What you went through. Cause you, so like I said, some of you were in this um, situation for a very long time. So some of you are still healing. So you're still feeling this. It's gotten a bit better for you, I feel like, with this Three of Swords in reverse here. But, um, you know, you've reached, I feel like you're at a, um, a, pivotal, a pivotal point in your healing process with this situation here. Now, um, how this person sees you is the Queen of Wands energy. So they see you as, or how people see you. People see you as, as um, <laughs> either this person or people. Everybody, but people see you as someone who's very attractive. Okay, someone who's powerful. Someone who, um, you know, is a queen. Someone who, you know, this could be, <laughs> this could be a witch. They could see you as a witch. Um, I don't know, but they see you as someone who um, is, you know, in control of themselves. So I feel like this was a mutual um, energy between you two, you know, and you were able to control yourself and get out of the situation, though it took you some time, but you were able to do it. So they see you as someone who's very powerful. Okay, the Queen of Wands is a powerful woman, very strong, very charismatic. She's got balls, you know. And a lot of men like her and find her attractive because a lot of men don't have the ball she has. All right. And so in your hopes here, we have the king, I'm sorry, the knight of cups. So this is you hoping to find someone that you, you know, will be able to give your cup to. You know, somebody you don't want to get serious with yet. You just want to meet this person and you guys get to know each other. Oh, there's a card under here and hang out. Yeah, see, we got the Nine of Cups. See, because you, you're you happy by yourself with the Nine of Cups energy. So you just want a knight right now, a Knight of Cups energy. You just want someone you could have fun with, someone where it could be a potential, you know, to go somewhere in the future. But no rush right now, you know, no rush into anything serious because you're still enjoying your, your single life here. You really enjoy the time that you have and what's going on with you um, because this is the lesson that you've learned with the Three of Swords Reverse. When you came out of this heartbreak, it's like you can be happy by yourself. You know, you would rather be happy by yourself than to be dealing with anything like this again. So you would rather take your time. So it was like, yeah, okay, we can hang out from time to time. You know, we can exchange phone numbers. You know, we might be able to connect every once in a while, but I don't want anything serious right now. What's the outcome here? This is good energy, Scorpio. So we have the Knight of Wands in reverse. So yeah, I feel like right now you're not you you don't know anybody you're attracted to like that right now. Like there's nobody who's turning you on right now to make you feel like, all right, well let's see what's up. Maybe there's just nobody on your radar right now. And with the Ten of Cups in reverse, yeah, see you're not you're not ready for a relationship. You're not interested in that right now for a lot of you. You know you you are enjoying, you know this um. This victory here, I feel like, with this Nine of Cups energy, it's like, look, I'm proud of myself. I did this. You know, I got out of this tumultuous situation that was, you know, very um, harmful, toxic energy. You know, you, you got out of this. And this was very difficult for a lot of you. Like I said, you were in here for a while, a long time. And now you're just reminiscing at this, like, yeah, man, I was weak. You know? And it's like, this is how you see yourself too now. You see yourself as powerful, as strong, you know, as someone who um, will fight for whatever you feel it is that you deserve. You know, and because of that, that makes you so happy with who you are that, you know, you just, you just, you'll take phone numbers. You don't mind talking to someone every once in a while or going on a date every once in a while, but you're not trying to get serious. You know, you're not trying to do that yet. You know, you might have a little fun where you might have someone, you know, scratch your back and you scratch theirs, but it's not going to be anything where, you know, this is on a regular basis. Um, but I feel like in the near future with the four wands here, you know, 
this is this could be you meeting your twin flame or your soulmate or your divine masculine or divine feminine because this is the four wands that's that energy that's the twin flame energy that's the divine masculine energy the divine feminine energy that's just that's not just a regular soulmate energy all right so it's coming scorpio that's that's wild that's beautiful though but um, I feel so more so for a lot of you, this is not that energy, but that is this is the energy that you're feeling within, like you're emotionally stable finally. Like this is a this was a healing process that you were going through. And you went from one stage and now you, you went from one stage where you're happy with yourself, you're happy by yourself, you you're not ready to jump into anything serious, you know that, and you're okay with that. And you wouldn't mind entertaining someone who knows that. So you're real super cool with that. Um, and I feel like in the near future, your emotions are going to be, you know, um, stable for sure. You know, as far as your passions, you're going to be really passionate about life and your new beginning. For some of you, you could be moving. Okay, with the four wands in the immediate future. I get that for a lot of you here. So this is beautiful energy. So, um, yeah. Yeah. We're going to go to the extended and find out what's going on here. This is beautiful. I like the way this um, is coming about here. So the link's in the box below if you want to join. If this resonated as is, feel free to leave me a comment. Let me know what's up. Um, but we're going to get a little bit more clarity on this. We're going to clarify each of these cards, see what else is up, and we're going to get some advice from um, the Divine Energy Oracle. Or we might use another. We might use two or three oracles. So the link's in the box below. Hopefully I'll see you there, Scorpio. Talk to you later.